Hey everybody, it's Bruce Elgort here, and I can't wait to share with you two things that I just learned, and they involve uh, learning how to use Visual Studio Code using a GitHub code space, much like uh, code.cs50.io uses for the CS50 Harvard courses, and that is how to enter in a command line and then debug your program. Because right now, if you try to do that, it's not going to work. And the other is going to show you a little technique that you can use without the debugger, or you can use it with the debugger if you want, to like simulate command line arguments entered in the terminal. All right? So let's dig in. All right? So let me just uh, dim down myself. Okay? There we go. I'm still here in the background, right? So I have a simple program here, and I'm importing the sys library, skip line one for now, and then you can see I have a breakpoint set right there, right there on, on line six, and I'm just printing out um, the two elements uh, from the argv list, right, of the command line arguments. The first one in position zero is going to be the name of the file, and the one uh, in uh, the second element in that list, right, is going to be some command line argument that I'm going to type in. So check this out. I'm, I should have cleared my terminal before I started, but I was excited to make this video. So check this out. What we're going to do is we're going to enter debug50, debug50, then the word Python, because that's how we run our code in, at the command line, and then the name of the program, which is sys dot uh, dash pro dash tip dot py right just like that and then I'm going to enter in uh, a command line argument and I'll just enter foo just for now all right so again debug 50 one word space python space sys dash pro dash tip dot py that's the name of my program and then a command line argument so ready here I go so watch what happens check this out so you would not normally be able to do this. So the debugger is started, and you'll see if I step in and I execute line uh, six, check this out, watch the terminal, look at that. It now, well, it flashed before your very eyes. So it actually did print out the, um, the, the, the information on line six, and it was correct. In fact, let me just do it one more time. Here we go. And I should have put another print after it, but I can do that next time. So check this out. Ready? I'm going to step in. And there. You see it? Oh. Oh, and of course, the screen uh, uh, clears out. So this is a way for you to test and debug your, your work that involves command line arguments. All right? So that's the first thing I wanted to show you. Debug 50. All right? Debug 50. Now, let's just say that I'm going to get rid of the breakpoint for now. And I have uh, on line one, I'm importing the OS library. Uh, I'm importing the sys library, right, as you saw before. But look at line number four. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm setting my own values for things that would be entered in, in the command line. So I'm kind of faking it because when I start working on something and I know eventually I'm going to want to use uh, command line arguments to drive how that particular program works, um, I, I don't want to do all the code, all that kind of code right away. I want to get into like the nuts and bolts of what my code specifically needs to do. All right. So what I can now do, as you'll see here, I've defined a list right, of values. The first one contains, this is the name of the file. It's using the OS library uh, and the path base name, base name method and the, uh, the Python variable dunder file dunder, right? It's a special variable in Python that gives you the name of the file. And just for um, argument's sake, right, I entered here argument one, argument two, argument three. So when I run my code now, if I just do 
Uh, if I just do this, check this out. I'm just going to get rid of the debug. Watch this. Ready? Enter. All right? Look. Again, I can forego all of the time that I would normally spend trying to get the logic right to determine whether the, the person entered in the information that I was looking for, all right? So those are the two things I wanted to share with you. And I also wanted to share with you the fact that I'm using this new product called Airglass by a company called Mobius to like put myself in front of the content. Like I could like like point at the code and things like that if I really wanted to. But more on that as I, you know, begin to learn and use the Airglass product, all right? So, hey, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't because um, it's been a little quiet on the channel lately, but guess what? I got a lot of content and it's coming your way. Again, thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.